Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, April 26th. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, and you might see some differences because I have a new camera. Uh, Sony something, I don't know. <laughs> I got it online and I even got a microphone so you guys could hear me better. Um, so I'm trying this. If it doesn't work, which I don't know how it will be. Um, I will try again with my phone. Uh, I'm wearing my pride today. My boys just swept the Chicago White Sox and won eight nothing. So yay. But that's not why we are here. We are here for my first DVD Blu-ray update of 20, um, 2023. And it's been a while. The last video I did was November 1st. Uh, just, I have no excuse. I just didn't have the oomph to do videos for a while. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you not everything I've gotten since the new year, but probably uh, for the last couple of months, I, I have gotten a lot in the last little while, but uh, this spans back to, I think, February. I don't even remember what I got in January, so we will just get started. Uh, first thing I picked up was the complete series of Airwolf. Never seen this. I grew up in the 80s, but I never saw this. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this uh, case by Mill Creek, because you open it up like that, and that's how the DVDs are. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. I should have known better. But yep, I got Airwolf, the complete series. And also with that, and ironically also from Mill Creek, but better quality, probably because it's Blu-ray, Sequest DSV. I love the show. I particularly love the first season. I think the first season is the best and then it just went downhill. But it was one of my favorites growing up as a teenager, so I wanted to get it. Um, are there any other TV? There is a TV show later on, but we will get to that later. Um, then I went to my usual place, Willow Video, and I found... Um, in their rare find, was this in the rare finds? I think it was, but it was actually quite cheap, and it was a Region Two Arrow Video Blu-ray of The Pit and the Pendulum. So as you can see, thirteen ninety nine. I was like, I have a region free Blu-ray player, and I like this movie a lot. So, and then I picked up the Blu-ray to Return to House and Haunted Hill, which I thought I could get rid of my three pack. I can't because I don't have Ghost Ship, but. Um, Bummer. I'll just keep it until I get to go ship, but uh, I actually really like Return to House on Haunted Hill. And these two are blind buys. I know I said I wasn't going to do too much blind buying, but when you find something you like for under $10, why not? I got Extraterrestrial, and this is directed by the guys who did um, Grave Encounters, so still haven't watched it yet. Same as with this. This was in... I think he's um, his name is Matt at You and Your Horror Movies. I saw this his his um, collection overview and I was like, yeah, that might be right up my alley. And it's called uh, Trailer Park of Terror and it was only uh, six ninety nine, so why not? And I'm showing these three because this is probably the best ones I got. I pre-ordered the entire series. I couldn't. I was so excited because I love this documentary series, and that, of course, is The In Search of Darkness. One, two, and three. And I got the one where I got the posters, and I didn't realize that, so it was a good $250 spent. <laughs> I know everybody's like, well, it was only $69 Canadian, so I ended up paying more. Um, but I don't care. It was definitely worth it. And I can't wait for the In Search of Darkness 90s edition. But yeah, these are so... Kind of bummed this one didn't come with a slipcover, but that's okay. I. But I've only wa I've watched this one. I just watched the second one a couple of nights ago, and I'll be putting on number three pretty soon. But yeah, um, I know they're on streaming, but I was like, you know what? I want them in my collection. I love 80s horror. I grew up in the 80s, so if you haven't seen the In Search of Darkness series, you're missing out. Now we're on a weird one because this doesn't seem like my type of movie, but I like the actor in it because thanks to my girl, Kristen Harris over at Night Vision 1228, um, it's, she's been, pun intended, revamping a lot of her 
fan-made music videos. And a lot of those are Forever Night videos. And it's uh, rekindled my passion for Forever Night. I haven't started watching it yet because I'm debating whether to save it for the horror marathon. But this movie with Garrett Wynn Davies, the actor who played Nick Knight, I actually said his name right. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'd never been able to say his name right. Uh, there was one movie of his I really wanted to see. It wasn't my cup of tea because it's a romantic comedy but it was so freaking expensive it was like forty dollars on amazon and even more on ebay i did buy this on ebay but it was like eighteen dollars plus three dollars shipping and i got it and it's called bury me in niagara i've watched it it's actually quite cute it's definitely not my type of movie i mean no people are like what you got a romantic comedy yeah i do <laughs> But it was cute, it was fun, and I liked it, so yeah, I'm keeping it. And another movie with him, this is, um, this is a rebuy. I had this years ago, but when I was going through terrible financial issues, I had to pawn a lot of my collection. And this was one of them, and uh, I couldn't get it back until recently because it was the same deal. So much frickin' money, and I actually prefer this over the first movie cube 2 hypercube um yeah i know i did i never liked the first cube it does have the great kill that resident evil uh homaged but i prefer this one i don't know why i think it has because to me i don't know why but it i always got event horizon weird ass vibes from this movie so i like it and then um couple places in town I could not find this to save my fucking life um and you guys know I love horror I love all this but it will always go back to my first love which is the Star Trek franchise and that I got Star Trek Strange New Worlds Picard season three. Oh my fucking god <laughs> I'm not spoiling it for anything anybody but it was awesome better than the last two this comes back on June 15th oh my dad and I can't wait for this this was an awesome awesome uh, addition to the Star Trek franchise. And then I, f I picked up Violent Night. I really want to see this, but again, Christmas horror going to be... I might watch it in the marathon, or I might save it to December. I don't know. I might actually watch it during the horror marathon this year. And this whole bunch I bought yesterday. Um, I, just was, I just felt like going down to Willow Video. I ended up leaving almost spending a hundred dollars um they are used but and a couple of them were 16 but i mean you buy brand new like two three brand new blu-rays or even 4ks and you're at a hundred dollars already so first one i got i think only two of them i've seen but i was like you know what i don't care anymore um i said that i said i'm trying not to buy buy blind buys but if they're under ten dollars why the hell not <laughs> um i know this was kind of bleh but for $9.99, I picked up 30 Days of Night, Darkest Days, or Dark Days, sorry. But we shall, um, we'll see. Like, I love 30 Days of Night. It's one of my favorite vampire movies. And this one, I mainly got for Barbara Crampton. And uh, it, I, I realized it's the 16th, or 16th, 13th movie. Uh, Puppet Master, The Littlest Wretch, Reich, Reich, I don't know. <laughs> the one word there, I don't know. Uh... But, yeah, Barbara Crampton, that's enough for me. I still have never seen a Puppet Master movie because I have no problem with Chucky, Tiffany, Annabelle, or the dolls from Stuart Gordon's Dolls. But the little fuckers in this movie and Trilogy of Terror, they scare the shit out of me for some reason. And um, that one, it was pricey, uh, 16 but uh, probably go on Amazon and you find it for more money. And then I got... Another blind buy for $10, Amusement. I've heard some good things about this. I think it's an anthology film. And I spotted this and I was like, yeah, why the hell not? I do have the 1995 movie, Castle Freak, also 10 bucks. Um, now this one I've been told is a Forever Night ripoff in a way, but I do like, oh, I didn't realize, um, didn't realize that. I'll have to glue that down. Um, but it's only, it was only 10 bucks, and I figured I'll give it a shot. If not, I know my dad likes this show, so I will give it a shot. Moonlight, the complete series. Now to one I um, have seen. It was $16.99 for the DVD, but I mean the Blu-ray on Amazon runs to $53, and I dropped it. <laughs> 
But now I have two copies of this movie. One of them has the typo negative music, and this one is the Kino Classics of Nosferatu from 1922. And the other one that I've seen, I was going to get the Blu-ray because it's a Scream Factory release. But when I found this and found it was an Anchor Bay and it was $13.99, I was like, you know what? It's cool. I, I did like the movie when I watched it for my horror marathon last year. And that is Witchboard. I love this cover. <laughs> I was like, oh, neat. Because that's the spine. And when I opened up and it was actually the Ouija board, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm... I'm happy. I Like I said, I gave this a 7 out of 10 when I watched it in my marathon last year, but I did enjoy it, and I was like, well, you know what? Might as well. I'm Like I said, if I'm not big on getting Blu-rays or DVDs anymore, like some people, but I um, figured why the hell not. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is it. Hopefully this camera works. Otherwise, I'll have to redo it on my phone. Um... So let me know what you guys think of these titles, which ones you like, which ones you don't like. Tell me what you think of Violent Night, if any of you have seen it. Um, while we're on the to topic, Evil Dead Rise was fucking awesome. Um, I said online, it's the only series that has been consistent uh, rating-wise. Evil Dead 1, I gave a 9 out of 10 to. Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness... The 2013 reboot and this one, all 8 out of 10s. I mean, that hasn't happened for a film series at all. Even the Halloween, Nightmare, Friday, Hellraiser, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They all go up and down, up and down. They don't just stay up and down a tiny bit and then, yeah. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> so yeah, guys, there we go. Um, finally doing a video for 2023. Hopefully the fact that I have a new camera with actual mic maybe i'll be back to doing videos again um so until my next video whenever that may be i hope you all have a great day watch a shitload of movies and of course as always like comment please subscribe and i shall see you in the next video bye guys